Tomorrow marks two years since Evan Ebel shot and killed prison's chief Tom Clemens at his home in Monument. As we reported last night, the El Paso County Sheriff's Office is reviewing its investigation. Yeah, investigators say Ebel first killed Nate Leon in Denver. Then two days later, he wore Leon's pizza uniform, drove to Monument, knocked on the state prison director's door. When Tom Clements opened the door, Ebel shot and killed him. Ebel was eventually killed after a police chase and shootout with officers in Texas. CARDIO News Channel 13's Emily Allen tells us about the new approach the county's new sheriff is taking. It's been two years since a trigger started a firestorm. Investigators say Evan Ebel gunned down Tom Clements and Nate Leon. Jeff Knorr has been the lead investigator since day one. I'm going to say it's difficult. We asked if he believes Ebel acted alone. That's an opinion. Opinions don't work in an investigation. El Paso County Sheriff Bill Elder hopes new eyes bring new leads. We're just taking a fresh look at it to make sure all of the T's are crossed and the I's are dotted. This Denver Post article says Elder is criticizing former Sheriff Terry Makita for hindering the investigation. Now, Elder says he's not doing that, but he is handling this investigation differently. His opinion was that there was a conspiracy or a clear conspiracy and that that's where their investigation was stirring or steering. I'm not sure that I, I'm of that same opinion. So what is the conspiracy? I don't know what the conspiracy was. I know that that was something that the previous staff had talked about. I don't know that there is a conspiracy. What are the biggest questions left to be answered? That's hard to say. We may already have the full answer, but until we get a chance to do a full review, we'll never know that. In Colorado Springs, Emily Allen Cardio, News Channel 13. Thanks, Emily. And Elder says after their review, his office will hopefully be able to make a final ruling on this double murder case.